A fighting performance from Durham's lower order meant that honours were just about even at the end of the opening day of the first LV County Championship match of the summer against Somerset. Marcus Truscothic won the toss and it was no surprise when he asked the host to bat first. Peter Trigo and Steve Kirby were handed the new ball but neither created the kind of problems they would have been hoping for as Keaton Jennings and especially Mark Stoneman batted with authority in the opening hour. Stoneman dominated the early scoring as he hit 24 of the opening stand of 31 which was made in the day's first 13 overs. It was left to Kirby to break through as he got one past Stoneman's bat to bowl the opener. The wicket was then celebrated in the only way Kirby knows. It was an important wicket too and one which Trigo soon took advantage of as he had Will Smith held in the slips by Truscothic with just a solitary run to his name. Dale Benkenstein didn't even manage that. After spending quarter of an hour trying to get off the mark, he edged Alfonso Thomas behind to leave Durham in some trouble on 43 for three. Jennings had defended for much of the morning but now began to find the boundary, not always off the middle of his bat. Slowly but surely, he and Ben Stokes began to claw their side back into this game in the morning. It was tough going, as you would expect at this time of year, but shots were occasionally played, especially by Stokes, who possibly has a big season ahead of him. Both batsmen would have been hopeful of survival until lunch, but just before the break, Jennings on a patient 28 picked the wrong ball from Thomas to leave alone and was bowled at 68 for four. Durham then rode their luck either side of the break and edged before lunch from Paul Collingwood fell a fraction short of Craig Keyswetter, while Stokes was put down off Trigo by Truscothic just after lunch. Not that last summer's runners-up were to be put off by that. Trigo responded by trapping Collingwood in front for 11 to leave Durham on 94 for 5. The best partnership of the day was left to the two left-handers, Stokes and Phil Mustard, who now added 60 for the sixth wicket and 18 overs to once again restore parity. Both took full advantage of anything to hit. By and large, the visiting attack bowled with good discipline and the batsmen needed to be patient and wait for the bad ball rather than trying to force the pace themselves. It was a policy which was working well as Somerset, for the first time in the day, found themselves on the back foot. It took the young Irish spinner George Dockrell to get the much-needed breakthrough, which came when Stokes, one short of his 50, nicked an attempted cut behind. Mustard followed 10 overs later, driving back to Dockrell to depart for 39. He left with his side still not out of the woods on 173 for 7. Somerset would have been hopeful of wrapping things up before too long and before Durham got beyond 200, which may yet turn out to be a decent enough total. In fact, they got more than that, and that was largely down to a sprightly partnership of 49 between Scott Borthwick and Callum Thorpe. With the second new ball soon available, this pair knew that now was the time to score, and neither let their side down as they picked out their shots expertly in taking their total to all the twos. It was then, with the new cherry just a couple of overs old, that Thorpe on 23 was dismissed, bowled by a nip backer from Trigo. Borthwick has shown on many occasions what a very useful number eight he can be, and with Graham Onions holding up the other end for a frustrating 40 minutes as far as Somerset were concerned, the leg spinning all-rounder took the total close to the 250 mark. Seven runs short of a second batting bonus point, Durham did lose Onions, who nicked Kirby to Keyswetter, before the innings was wrapped up at the end of the day, just after the 250 had been reached. Borthwick, the last man out, bowled on the drive by Kirby for a fine 45. So Kirby and Trigo shared six wickets as Durham were all out for 250. Just what kind of total that is on this surface will become much more apparent on the second day when Somerset replied.